Hi, in this series of video demonstrations we're going to be using Fusion 360 to create moving models of our mechanical design ideas. In this fifth video we're going to look at how to assemble two components together and still allow a sliding motion between them. To help us demonstrate this, over the series we're going to be modelling this punch mechanism. In this video we are going to create a slider joint between two components that have been modelled in the previous videos in this series. So we're going to start by clicking on the assemble icon and then it highlights the components you can choose. Note that the um, base plate is transparent. This is because it's a body, not a component. We can only move components, which is why it's important to state whether a new extrusion is a body or a component. If any of the components you wish to assemble are transparent, it's because you've accidentally created them as a body. So you can simply undo it and extrude it again as a component and it should then work. So when we select our component, we select the part of the component we want to line up with the other component. So we're going to choose the center of this cylinder. So it's clicked on it there. And then we want to line up with the center of that cylinder there. Those two elements will then move to line up. At the moment it's a rigid joint. You see it shaking about there. We can change the motion by clicking on the motion tab and selecting slider, it then slides in and out and then we can click OK. We can then edit that joint by clicking on that symbol there in the middle. We can then select edit joint limits and we can create our own minimum and maximum limit so the most it can travel in either direction. So for this joint, I'm going to set a minimum travel of minus five millimeters and a maximum of 25 millimeters and if I move this little window you can see that 25 millimeters means it doesn't quite touch the uprights. I can now slide that manually using my cursor, my mouse cursor in and out and it won't go further than I want it to travel but far enough that it would cut as a punch would. So there we have our sliding joint.